what do you think is different about the new album than the last? Uh, I think it's got a faster tempo. The songs have just changed gear. The last one was just caught in kind of a slow motion mode a little bit. It was only the same. We used the same uh, same board, Tascam, 16 track board. It's the same that we recorded on the last record. We tried to keep it a similar process that was the last one was recorded in. So the similarities in the sounds, even though everything was stripped down more than the last record, but the, fir the first one, you know, we seem to have to use twice as much to get to get the uh, the point across. Lyrically or musically, it's all the same. It's you know, it's a lot more intent in the music and the words than the first record had. Is it like a distilled BRMC? Yeah, just looking inwards a bit rather than out, rather than looking for all the answers on the outside. You know, you can get caught in that too. You know, paralysis of analysis. You know, it's, it's as dangerous as not looking at all. That's what I think. Though. Yes, me. What was it? What was it like recording this album? Was it an easy experience? Recording was mixing was more difficult, but recording kind of went by. You know, the songs kind of found their shape. You know, on the road a bit more this time. They're already kind of ready to go. Um, like the last record, which we kind of you know, searched for things while we were making it. And um, what happened with the mixing then? That was such a problem. Um, most of the blame goes to one song, the six bell shotgun. And it knows it. And it will be punished for that. But, um, you know, some songs are easy to mix, some songs sort of take the world, and that one took a little bit more than that. I don't know why, it seemed like we could try and mix it seven times. We started with that one, I think. And then, uh, and then just freaked out and just fuck it, tore the board down, went on to another song, got that one in a half a day or a day, and we're like, great, now we know how to do it. And we go back to, now we go back to Six Bro and try to use kind of the same tones of things. Completely didn't work. Are you happy with the mix now? Yeah, actually, pretty, pretty happy with it. You know, it could have been better. We even thought about stripping it and recording it all over again. But if you didn't or something like that, it was special. Did the fact that you played a lot of gigs influence the recording of the second album then? Yeah, well, yeah. First album, we, we, we had played a bit. We finished that album and then toured for two years straight, basically. There's absolutely no way that can affect you. <laughs> you know, so, and, and no way it well, can't affect, it can't affect the music. Mm. And so, just tempo-wise, and just, you know, it felt like a fight for two years. Try to get the point across, and so then you end up recording an album, and it was like, well, let's, let's see if we can keep that, you know, keep that feeling, get, get, and try to get the point across. And Do you feel um, annoyed at other bands if, I mean, you make a sort of, you try and make statements for your music, does it annoy you when other bands don't, or don't use music for any other vehicle? No, I, I get too hard on that shit, like, I'm trying, I'm, I'm starting to back off with that. I kind of wish it wasn't, um, you know, it's kind of someone else's art, so I don't want to judge it, you know. I, I kind of wish there was more bands that kind of, like, you know, took chances a bit more and more, you know, not, not to pick out one in particular, but just, you know, sometimes it just feels like there's not that many voices speaking to people my age or any, any you know, younger or older, it's, maybe it'll happen, maybe it'll happen someday. Mm. <laughs> Do you actually think it's possible to change people's views through music? I think you can force people away if you try and still something. You can narrow your, the amount of people that you're going to get. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you want to make a real change, I think you have to get pretty big. And that's when you can start talking about this shit. Um, take them on on their own as the album title. On your own. Take them on on your own. Sorry. Um, can you explain the meaning behind that? 
I went through different phases of thinking about it, and I ended up with one that was just like, take responsibility for your own actions. Um, that's what it was. It just means different stuff to different people. So I don't really want to, don't think, I don't know if anybody. A last minute thought before you take the step, you know, like putting the album inside you or whatever. Thank you very much for your time. Um, nice to meet you. Thanks very much. We'll, uh, we'll take our equipment and we'll go.